Dora, how do you bring cannabis to school and disguise it as poinsettias? Tefit, you are grounded for 651 years. Go to bed and we'll discuss punishments tomorrow. I'm going to school with you. What? Yeah, Dora, for one of your punishments, let's go right now. Uh, Dora, is there something wrong? Yeah, Kevin, it's that my mom is following me to school for punishment. Well, shame on her. You sit down right now or I'm telling your teacher. Mom, that was embarrassing. Hey, that's my seat. Find another seat, young man, you need to learn to share. Looks like we've got a new student, but anyways, do we have our homework? I have mine right here. Hey, that's actually my homework. I don't care, Dora, go to detention with the new kid. Have a seat, we need to talk. Well, look who's here again. Looks like the bad has brainless hold. Or this is the 59th detention you've got this school year. Oh, I'm not happy. Wait till I call your mama and papa. Well, if you have peripheral vision, my mom is right next to me. How about you talk to her? Mrs. Marquez, do you know that your daughter has gotten detention several times already now? Oh yes, I am currently aware of that and I'm going to ground her later on. She always deserves to get punished by me, her father and abuela whenever she does something bad. I wish you could stop doing that since you're ruining my day for me so far. Dora, it's my responsibility to ground you every time you always get in trouble, so shut up. Time for lunch, yo. What a good meal. Well, I'm not enjoying my lunch because she's eating mine without sharing. You should consider blaming it on her and I never wished she was my own mother. How do you say that to her? That's it. I'll be calling the principal and you'll both go straight to his office until lunch is over. Now, do you know why I called the both of you here? I'm sure why you most certainly did. I was following my daughter around all day at school and we both got detention and got sent here. You should definitely scold my mom for all the bad things I done. It was all because she stole my homework when I was about to hand it into Mrs. Christina. She even yelled at a student over taking his desk and another on the bus before school started. I was trying to have a good day until she started ruining it for me. You always have a bad day at school, Dora, which is something that'll never change. And you'll always live to regret it, because that's exactly what will happen next when you're taken back home by your mother since she always punishes you for getting in trouble by me, Mrs. Christina, and the detention teacher. You have a 10-day suspension in your hands. And as for you, Elena, it wasn't necessary for you to follow your daughter around all day at school even though you thought it'd be a good idea doing so. You both can now leave. Dora, even though I publicly embarrassed you today by following you around at school, I can't believe you got detention after I snitched your homework away from you and get suspended. You are grounded for the next five months, now go to your room. Okay class, it's time for language arts. Mr. Joey, may I please use the restroom? Okay Dora, but please hurry back. Thanks. Ha 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 Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh my god, we've got a bomb threat. Hello, there has been a bomb threat at Gunner Elementary School. Its direct location is next to room 219. It's a cardboard box. The wall says it will explode at 12 p.m. today. Since I smelled some charcoal, the bomb must be dynamite. And no, I dare not place that bomb. The school will evacuate immediately. Alright, see you at scene. Bye. All teachers, faculty and students must evacuate this school immediately. There has been a bomb threat on the second floor. Please evacuate and follow the code of the fire drill now. Come on everyone. We must evacuate or else we could get killed by the bomb exploding. Okay everyone just stay calm. We called police over. Alright, you can go to the building to conduct the search on how this happened, and to determine who's responsible for the threat. Alright everyone, the police said you may go back into the school building. However the drill is not over yet as police are investigating this bomb threat, so I expect all of you to be quiet in the classrooms, okay? You may all go back to class.
Well that was some pandemonium we've got there, but let's continue our lessons now. Teachers, faculty, and students, we've solved this bomb thread. It turns out to be a false alarm, as no explosives but charcoal was found in the cardboard box placed next to room 219. The tech department, police, and I have looked through all security camera footage, and the student who placed the box and wrote a threat to the school and scared the crap out of the whole campus to death appears to be a Hispanic girl wearing a pink short sleeved shirt and orange shorts who'd caused this could be serious, traumatic disruption. I must ask Dora Marquez to come down to the principal's office right now. You're in so much trouble with me now. And the lovers, the drill is over so continue business as usual. Serves you right. I should have never accepted your bathroom request. Now since you've been caught as the one who created this bomb threat, you will now explain why you did it. Alright, fine. I just thought it would be funny to experience a bomb threat, and I just did it for a harmless prank. Real funny, and a harmless prank. This was everything but funny and a harmless prank. You terrorized the whole school and scared many people to death. I can't believe you did all this. That's it, you are hereby officially expelled from Gunner Elementary School, but not only that, you are going to jail because bomb threats are a crime and you need to learn your lesson. No, no, if she were in high school, then yes she's going to prison, but since this is elementary school, we're not gonna do that. I contacted her parents, and told them to come in 10 minutes, and since those 10 minutes have passed, they're here now. Come on Dora, let's talk about your behavior today in the car. Wow! A bond threat, by you, how shameful Dora. But mom, I'm sorry, please, forgive me. No. Your apologies mean nothing cause of the destruction done to the school. I can't freaking believe you created a bomb threat at school. Did you know that could have gotten you arrested? But mom, please listen. I was just creating a harmless prank. No. Harmless? Are you freaking kidding me? Your destructive actions with the box terrorized the whole school. You've scared some innocent people to death. And some have even been mentally and physically injured because of how scared they were of the threat. Shame on you Dora. When we get home we will watch the news and if we are charged with a very huge fine, you will be grounded for infinity years. Even worse, the charcoal in the box made school staff and police think there were explosives or door you are so so grounded. You're standing. But. Stand. Breaking news, a dumb brat made a bomb threat to the Gunner Elementary School. GNN news crews are at the scene now to make some interviews. Here we are, like. Outside the school, we've got some parents of students in major terror right now. Police officers are outside the school to chat with some victims of the threat. This is Danielle Mercier of GNN, and we have a few victims to interview now and they will explain their experiences when the bomb threat happened, which is right here. As you can see, the cardboard box appeared to be just charcoal and the wall saying the school will explode at 12 p.m. today has been washed off. But anyways let's get on with this. Now Mr. Cherry, the principal of Gunner Elementary School, what was it like when the girl described as Dora Marquez, made the bomb threat? So, I was going to drop some papers off at the nurse when suddenly I saw a package smelling like charcoal in the wall saying the school will explode at 12 p.m. today. I was so scared to death for my life and for the safety of the people on campus. Dora, you're expelled like I said. The expulsion papers will be mailed by tomorrow. That's all I have to say. Now we will interview a fifth grader in this school, described as Gabriel Winston. Now Gabriel what was your experience? So when the bomb threat evacuation was ordered, five of my classmates went to the hospital because they passed out and had heart attacks because of how scared they were about the school exploding and even killing them. Dora you have changed my life and my family life too that I just want to give you a permanent black eye. I also want to see you in person. To scold you at the top of my lungs for putting the school in this much danger. Oh, you've just gotten an opportunity to scold Dora for her actions. Her home address is 784 Fort Wax Avenue in Double Mill, North Carolina. Also, anything else you need to say? No, I'm good. Alright then. Back to the studio with you Eric. Thank you Danielle. So. If you'd like to scold Dora in person, here's the address again. 
784 Fort Wax Avenue in Double Mill, North Carolina. Damage bills will also be mailed to Dora's family by the end of this week. I am Eric Halen with GNN News. I can't believe the damage you've done Dora. Your father and Abuela are also aware of what you did. Oh oh oh! Dora is on the news. She cannot freaking believe you made the bombs at that school today. This is the one of the worst settings you did at school Dora. Try attending to explore the school. That's it. You are so grounded, grounded, grounded for 49,586 years. You go to your room. And never come out. Dora. Go to bed. You are grounded for getting in trouble at school. Time for me to do some yard work. Man, I ate my dad for grounding me. That means it's time for revenge. I hear Dan climbing up the ladder, so I'm going to push the ladder off the roof. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Oh my god Cole what's happened here? I can't believe you destroyed your father's face by tipping over the ladder off the roof. Take it you're so grounded for three years. And don't worry Cole, we're calling the ambulance. Now if I recall correctly, Cole Marcus has had his face severely broken. He has glass eyes, a 3D printed nose, and dentures. His spinal cord and brain are disconnected. Meaning he is permanently paralyzed from the neck down. He is now unable to move any part of the body because of how sick the injury was. Oh, you are grounded for no years for ruining my soul life. We will go do that. Because you grounded me and I need revenge for that. I'm so, 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 sorry. Apologies not accepted Dora. Because of what you did, you are grounded for a decade. Go upstairs and you are only deadhead. Oh, you are grounded Dora. Go to bed right now. Why does my Abuela have to treat me like crap? That's it. I need revenge right now. But how? Oh, I got it. I will put Pretzel in the toilet in case Abuela has to take a dump. You ha ha ha. Now all I have to do is to wait for Abuela to use the bathroom, and I throw a lighter in the toilet to ignite it. In a dose of the bathroom so bad. Dora, you are from the 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 so mother freaking grounded 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 for one zero 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 decades your abuela is now dying thanks to your bell crap dora how could you permanently paralyze your own grandma you know exploding the toilet on her nearly killed her thank god she's alive why the hell would you do this because she grounded me and i need revenge i'm sorry no sorry is Dora, what you've done four months ago scraps your forgiveness, and all your I'm sorry's, you are grounded, until you turn age 90, and then call the mental facility. Oh no please. Oh my god. Can it be? Oh my god. I have, I have hair. Wow. I look sexy. Hey Kanye, I think I lost hair. What happened Rosie? I do not know, but I think you know. No it wasn't me. Honest. I was sleeping all this time. Take a lying detector for proof. Alright, I got a lying detector here. So did you shave my hair? No I didn't. I think you did. Alright, alright. 
I shaved my hair off because I want to tell Getty and Mermy that they think you did. Well, tell the truth or else. Something might bad happen to you. Okay, okay. Hey, Kai, you. You have grown hair. And your hair looks so beautiful. That's awesome. You are ungrounded. Now I won't ground you for everything, forever. You can do whatever you want. What of my homies? So who 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 who? Rosie. How dare you be bald? That's I T. I won't love you anymore. You are grounded ground ground for 3895728947128969 years. Go to your room right now. What? Hey Kai you. I hope you are not wearing a wig. Come over here. Okay good. You are not wearing a wig. Now you can do whatever you want. Hey honey. Not to be offensive. But Caillou's hair is better than yours. Oh shut up. Boris. Hello again. Chuck E. Cheese's Kid 9000 here. And I am gonna make a series about Caillou and his hair. Reply down below on my comment of what my series name should be. Also, winner will be in one of my videos. Now peace out guys. See you in the next video. Welcome to character elimination. With your boast, snow globe yes light or no. A show where characters compete for the grand prize. But before we start forming the teams, I must introduce you to the contestants. Here they are. Optimus Prime. Your team name will be The Autobots. Fiery. Your team name will be The Blazing Flames. Your challenge is to eat the giant pie as fast as you can. Go. Alright, guys. Let's eat this pie. You. Kai, you. Did you put poop on the pie? Yes, I did, Zack. Kai, you. Don't you know eating poop is disgusting? Shut up and eat the pie already, Zack. No. Zack is right, K.I.U. You should make another pie. This pie is disgusting. All of you eat the pie or I will murder you all. Never. Guys, let's eat this pie. That was quick. The Autobots have won. While the Blazing Flames have lost. This is all your fault for not eating the pie! Well, Krilly, if you had not put poop in the pie, we would have won. So, viewers, vote any member on the Blazing Flames to get the prizes. Also, vote any member on the Blazing Flames to be eliminated. And KIU, for putting poop on the pie, you get a penalty. What? You get to hold this sign. GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
Welcome back to Character Elimination. Since the Blazing Flames lost. Let's go to the elimination area. Alright contestants. I have 11 pens. If you don't get one, you're eliminated. Anyways. To the prize votes. Leafy, Clarence, Megatron, Dora, K.I.U., Plankton, Pepper, Zack, Quack, and Chowder. Got zero votes. So they don't get the prize. Fiery and George are tied at one vote. So I'll pick. Fiery gets the prize. Fiery. Here is your iPhone 6. Now for the elimination votes. Fiery, Leafy, Clarence, Megatron, Dora, Plankton, George, Zack, Quack, and Chowder are safe with zero votes. K.I. and Peppa are tied at one vote. So I'll pick. K.I.U. No. This can't be happening. Well K.I.U. That's what you get for putting poop on the pie. Shut up. K.I.U. Come with me. Ouch. Where am I? For the second challenge, you will build a castle. The team who has the best castle wins. You will be given 10 hours to do this. Go. Time's up. The blazing flames. Let's see yours. Wow. This castle is awesome. And the Autobots. Let's see yours. This castle is awful. Who destroy it? Gum. 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 It was me. Oh no 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 Light the night. How dare you destroy the castle? That's it. Your team is up for elimination. Sorry about that. Anyways. Vote for any member on the Autobots to get the prizes. And vote for any member on the Autobots to be eliminated. And Mike the Knight. For destroying the castle. You get two penalties. What? One. You get to hold the sign. And two. You get five extra elimination votes. What? This is so unfair. La 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 da da, what a perfect day to go exploring. La 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 da da, what a perfect day to go exploring. Hey, who are you supposed to be? I'm Zora. No, I'm Zora. Get out of my way, you stupid Zora clone. I'm not an Aura clone. What? I'm going to have sex with K.I.O. and then I will go to Chuck E. Jesus. Oh my god. Another Dora. Hey! What happened to Dora? I beat her up because she thinks I'm her clone. Actually, yes you are her clone. Now get out of my way because I want to go to Chuck E. Jesus. My boyfriend K.I.O. is waiting for me. Oh my fucking god. You have a relationship with that bald bastard. That's it. I'm going to beat you up. What? Oh, ouch. You hit me. Oh. Today is a good day to go and buy a new backpack for my new adventures. Oh my god, Dora. How dare you be up front and party EDCP's Dora and Officer Poop 247 Dora. Apologize to them right now. Hey! What are you doing? You three are imposters. I'm the real and only Dora. What is going on here? Oh, 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 oh. Dora the Explorer. How dare you beat up the Officer Poop 247, comma Brenda and Barney EDCP and African Vultures Dora. That's it. Let's go home right now you fucking idiot. Go to your freaking room right now you bastard. What?
GNN Evening News will be back after a brief commercial break. I'm going to go wash the dishes. I'm gonna go make dinner. I'm going to clean my room. I guess I'll watch the commercials. Meatloaf again, Mom? Yup, just like yesterday, son. Are you tired of having the same food every day? Yup. Then how about go to Paul's Pizza? Wow, this place is amazing. Try the pizza. It's the best. This is the best pizza I've ever had in my life. We employees at Paul's Pizza hear that every day. We do deliveries, take out, and dine-ins. We will provide you with the best and excellent service. For deliveries, the number is on the screen below me. It is 401-555-1738. This is Paul's Pizza. How may we help you? Um, can I get an extra large pizza? With spinach, liver, Brussels sprouts, onions, cooked carrots, onions, toenail clippings, anchovies, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf bits, please. Um, uh, okay, your total cost is $15. We will be there in about 10 to 15 minutes. Thanks for ordering. Um, here's your weird pizza. Thanks. Psych. Hey, what are you doing? Get back over here now. Hello, 911. This is the owner of Paul's Pizza. You are not gonna believe this. A little girl just stole my pizza truck. She is going down Daughtry Dutch Road and turning right. Okay, thank you. What the hell is going on? Your daughter just stole my truck. Police cars and helicopters are chasing her. I'm gonna be escorted in one police car. You guys will be escorted in another one. Ha 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 ha. Is Sandra Simmons coming to you live from Dooningham Boulevard now at a car chase undergoing right now? Reports are coming in as that it's a little girl identified as Dora Marquez. We are now getting some more unverified reports that she prank called the local restaurant, Paul's Pizza, and has currently hijacked the pizza delivery truck. They're coming up now. As you can see, this is an extremely critical situation. There are even more police cars and helicopters all around the town trying to stop the 8-year-old. This is Sandra Simmons, signing off. Hey! Give me back my truck! No, 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 no! Continue CPA no fee to progress! Oh my god! He has multiple compendia and femur fractures! One arm fractured! Major head and blood chest trauma! And collapsed lungs! He has third and fourth degree burns all over his body! We need to perform an escalotomy and the chest tube replacement with the power drill immediately! This will be extremely painful! Why so bad? Oh, 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 please no more chest tubes, hello, hello, hello. Okay, eight, time for surgery. We'll go on the record, in the matter of people, versus Dora, Marquez. She has done the following. Prank call a business, assaulted a pizza man with pizza boxes, steal a vehicle, cause a large law enforcement scene. Run over an innocent bystander with extremely serious, surgical, and significant injuries, and run from law enforcement. We will now hear the extent of injuries caused by you, Dora. You are seriously sick in the head, Dora. His entire body is broken. He can't breathe without gasping and pain. His lungs are destroyed and needs a permanent chest tube. Now, what do people have to say about this? Guilty. 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 D. L. D. Dora, Anastata, Marquez, you are hereby sentenced to be grounded by your parents for an extreme amount of time, and to withhold severe punishments at the hands of your parents. Case closed. Die, 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 die. You're fucking us over here right, 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 right. No, 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 no. No exclamation point. <laughs> Do 
Laura. Do you know you could have been executed for all the crimes you've committed? You know that man was extremely close to being killed. Why did you do this? Why? 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 Because Mom, I hate the pizza guy. And I had to prank him. He wanted his truck back, so I had to run him over. I'm so sorry. That doesn't matter. And your apologies mean nothing now. What can I? I'm sorry. Go now. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are grounded until you are age 40. Come on. Let's watch Discovery Family on TV today. Yeah. I hope kids will enjoy their today's show. Coming up next is My Little Pony. Friendship is magic on Discovery Family. My Little Pony, My Little Pony, what is friendship all about? My Little Pony. Oh no. I really my hate My Little Pony. pony. It's too girly. Rosie loves My Little Pony. Look who's coming today. Oh my god! Who are you? Why do you look so familiar? We are your long lost family twins. I'm Loris. I'm yours. That's my wife, she mentioned you. And these are my children, Palo and Posey. Hi, and Doris. Doris. Doris, honey. What are you still doing? We have some visitors that are very identical to us. Look! Oh my freaking god. It looks like us, but wait a minute. I am familiar of these swapped color versions out of us. It must be a color versions of Dora and her family. I think Dora released her colored versions of their family as ours. That is it. I'm calling her mother right now. Hello, is this Marquez's residence? Yes. Is this Boris? Kalu's father? Indeed, Senora Marquez. Your troublemaking daughter Dora releases the color of your family out of ours. Can you please punish her for this situation? She did. Okay, thanks for telling us about her, Boris. I will ground her and she'll be in very deep trouble. You're welcome, Senora Marquez. Bye. I'm sorry to hear about our problem, but you should better leave right now. See you next time. Dora, I can't believe you were released our own colored versions out of Kalu's family. You know that only good users can make their own versions of characters, not you. You are still an ultimate troublemaker and yet, still everyone's hating your own baby show. You are grounded 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 for 365 centillion years. You are not going to see Kalu ever again. And also... You will not watch movies and TV shows made by Nickelodeon and Paramount for the rest of your life. Your grandma will have a final punishment for you. No, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. What? Para su último castigo, se le enviará al miedo viacón barra vid del condenar logotipos. No 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 It will be absolutely scary. What? That's freaking scary. We don't care, Dora. Get your ass to your room and never ever 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 come out. So, after the lockdown incident, Kimberly brought Joseph to a phobia therapist to get rid of his fear. As you can see, Joseph wasn't really happy with this. The therapist took Kimberly out of the room hypnotized Joseph. Kimberly sat there for three hours and when Joseph woke up, Joseph was no longer afraid of lockdowns anymore. He was so no longer afraid, he decided he was going to make a fake lockdown prank. We have to go to the three-hour meeting over at the other middle school 15 minutes away. Let me get out the intercom. Now let's change my voice to Mrs. Kleiner's. 
Ow, pulling and hitting my vocal cords hurt as hell. Now let's do this. Attention, Attention students. students, this, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. There, there is a robber inside, inside the building. building. Teachers, Teachers, lock your doors immediately right, right now. now. Students, under, under your desks, desks now go go go. 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 Do, Do not, not make, make a peep. Be absolutely silent. silent. This, this is, is a great emergency. emergency. Authorities are coming right away. away. In the meantime, be as quiet as a church mouse. Like the drill. Hide behind any large item. Anything obstructive. Heavy. Massive will do. We are, we are doing, doing as much, much as we can to keep every JMM student safe. Further instruction will be ahead. Ha 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 ha. Loosening my vocal cords feel much better. I I I am scar 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 scared. Angela, I know you're very scared, but please be very quiet, as quiet as a church mouse, like Mrs. Kleiner said. Noid, what the hell are you doing out in the halls with a robber here? Get in my classroom now. I'm sorry, but all of the desks are taken. BT, you can hide behind the huge locker. This is a We have to find out who the little prankster is. We'll look at the security cameras to check to see who did it. Do you know why I called you in here? Oh never mind, our cameras have sound now, they caught you pulling your vocal cords like mine, and fake a lockdown. This act can suspend you, which is what you are doing for three weeks, go now. No 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 please take off my suspension. No, rules are the rules. How dare you get suspended, that's it. I'll call your dad who is in Colorado to visit his cousin. Diesel guess what? Yes, you guessed it. The troublemaker got in trouble again. He made a lockdown prank and terrorized the whole school. What? Oh 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 tell him he's grounded for life. Your father and I decided your consequence. You're grounded for life. Get to bed.
Okay class, take out your homework. Peppa and George, where is your homework? I don't get it. You two are the laziest students I ever had. Go to the head teacher's office right now. So Peppa and George, why are you here this time? We didn't do our homework. Peppa and George, this is the last time that you forgot your homework. That's it. I'm taking you back from 12th grade back to 11th grade, so go back to 11th grade right now or you are expelled from this school. I mean it. <laughs> And you, Unikitty, go back to class or you are expelled. All right, class, today, we will learn more about alcohol. Hey, George, I brought some wine. Do you want some? Sure. Peppa and George, how dare you bring and drink wine? That's it. Get rid of it and go back to 10th grade. Okay, class, today we are going to... Hey, Peppa and George. Stop using your phones and put them away right now. Anyways, today we are going to watch Dragon Ball Z. And after the episode, you'll be writing a sheet of paper about Dragon Ball Z. Postman Pat, I will like to see you. Please. Oh. That's PC Guy. I'll be right back. Now it's our chance to use our phones before he comes back. I'm back. Students, hey, Peppa and George, how dare you use your phones again? That's it. Go back to ninth grade. Okay, classes, we are going to talk at our own train station. Hey, let's push him off. Good idea. For America. Wow. Oh, shite. I think we are going into 8th grade. That's right Peppa and George, go back to 8th grade which means you are going back to middle school. Alright class, today it's behavior card day. If your card is purple, you have a year off. If your card is blue, you have a month off. If your card is green, you have a week off. If your card is white, nothing happens. If your card is yellow, you only have a talk after school. If your card is orange, you have detention for one hour. If your card is red, you are suspended for two weeks. If your card is black, you go back to seventh grade. Here are the cards. Yeah. I got purple. Uh-oh. Me and George cards are black. That's right, Pep and George. Go back to seventh grade right now. Okay, class. We are going to watch The Simpsons movie. No. I want to watch Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. It is way better than The Simpsons movie. And I want to watch Fireman Sam, because Fireman Sam is better than The Simpsons movie. I don't care what you want. But of this is so sad for babies. We watch The Simpsons movie and that is final. I don't give a about The Simpsons movie. Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom and Fireman Sam are awesome. Yes. Yeah. And The Simpsons movie. Peppa and George, how oh, dare you disrespect the Simpsons movie and use it profanity. That's it. Go back to 6th grade. Okay class, we are going back to class. Hey Peppa, let's push those losers down the stairs. Ha 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 ha. What a bunch of babies. Peppa and George, how dare you bully Princess Matilda and Flutter Girl down the stairs? That's it. Go back to fifth grade, and that means you are going back to elementary school. What? We can't believe that we got held back to elementary school. I know. We shouldn't bring our homework. Okay, class, it's time for lunch. Please choose your food wisely. Hey, George, let's have a food fight. Peppa and George, how dare you have a food fight? You just made a mess and made all the children cry. That's it. Go back to fourth grade. Okay class, it's time for snack. Please take out your snack. 
Peppa and George, you are not allowed to bring soda to school. Go back to third grade. Okay, it's time for a math quiz. What is three times three? The answer is, shut up. And put us all the way back to 12th grade right now, or we will kill you. I agree with Peppa. Put us back in a higher grade, right, now, or we will kill you. Peppa and George, watch your mouths, you two. Go back to second grade. I'm so mad, I'm so mad, I'm so mad, I'm so mad, I'm so mad I got held back, I got held back, I got held back, I got held back. Yes, do what Peppa said. Peppa and George, stop dancing on the desks like idiots and go back to first grade. That's it. I am so sick and tired of getting held back. Let's go back to 12th grade and tell the teacher to give us another chance. Yeah, good idea. Yay. We finally escaped from elementary school. Let's go back to high school. Uh-oh. The police is coming. Stop right there. You are coming with me. Peppa and George, how dare you sneak away school and try to go to high school? That's it. Go back to kindergarten. Peppa and George, you not allowed to cry at school. That's it. You'll be forced to go back to preschool. Go to preschool. Oh no. Not preschool. This is the worst day in my life. Me too. Our parents are going to kill us. Okay little ones, we are going to have milk and cookies. You must share because I have one bottle of milk and one bag of cookies. Yay! We love milk and cookies. Hey George, let's eat and drink all the milk and cookies without sharing to anyone. Nom 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 nom. That was so good. What? Peppa and George ate all the cookies and drank all the milk. What? That's unfair. Why Peppa and George do this to us? I hate you, Peppa and George. You big meanies. I wanted to have milk and cookies while sharing with my friends. Peppa and George, how dare you eat and drink all the milk and cookies? You were supposed to be sharing. That's it. You're expelled forever. Go home now. Peppa and George. How dare you held back from 12th grade back to preschool, then you got expelled from school. That's it. You are grounded for 3, 2, 3, 7, 4, 9, 1, 4, 6, 3, 8, 6, 4, 9, 7, 6, 1, 0, 6, 9, 0, 6, 9, 3, 7, 0, 6, 0, 9, 6, 4, 6, 4, 0, 9, 4, 3, 6, 1, 0, 9, 1, 3, 6, 4, 7, 9, 6, 3, 1, 0, 7 9 4 6 9 3 0 6 4 9 7 1 7 3 7 4 2 9 8 2 7 9 4 2 6 9 8 6 2 9 6 9 7 8 6 2 9 6 2 9 7 2 9 2 6 0 2 9 7 1 7 7 0 9 6 4 9 0 4 6 3 0 9 6 4 3 4 1 6 3 4 2 6 9 8 6 2 9 6 9 7 8 6 2 9 6 2 9 7 2 9 2 6 0 2 9 7 1 7 0 9 6 4 9 0 4 6 3 0 9 6 4 3 4 1 6 3 centuries. Go to your rooms right now. Darn it. Why? What? Okay, Rosie. We already got ourselves tickets to see Star Wars The Return of the Jedi. But Dad, I hate the fucking Star Wars. Hey, you better watch your mouth. Anyways, while you are waiting in line to see Star Wars movie, could you please hold the line for us? We are going to get popcorn, nachos, hot dogs and sodas. Um, sure they will. Good, we will be back. Since I hate Star Wars. I'm going to turn Star Wars into a different title with my magic marker. 
Yay, shit was rules, Star Wars sucks. Come on everybody, we don't want to miss the beginning of the Star Wars movie. Who, what the? Shit Wars, the return of the fucking Jedi. Someone turns Star Wars into shit wars, and I know who could have done this. Rosie, stop hiding in the Godinet girls' room and get over here right now. What's wrong, Dad? Tell us what happened to the Star Wars movie poster. I changed Star Wars into shit wars, Dad. Rosie, how dare you hate Star Wars, and how dare you change Star Wars into shit wars, that's it, we are forced to watch Star Wars, and you are grounded for 23 days. You are under arrest for stealing the toy from Toy Kingdom. I'll let you off with a warning. But I don't want to see this again. You may take it after all it's free. I am gonna go to eBay and order a 68 pieces Crayola. Wow, it only cost two dollars. I will order it now. Finally. Let's see what's inside. What? Is this some kind of sick joke? I got a box full of poop. Sweet. My order is here. Let's see what's inside this crate. Cool. I got a diamond sword. Awesome. My order is here. Let's see what's inside this crate. Awesome. I got a Wii U and a hot girl's phone number. What? How did I get these Fs? How did I get D in math? Yes, I got A's in all subjects. I can't believe I lost the lottery. Yes. I won ten dollars. Yay yay yay. I have won one million dollars. in heaven. I hope there's food in here. Evil Sid. We're so happy that you're in heaven. Ouch 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 ouch. Die you stupid boy. Ow 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 Spongebob square weapons. More like sponge poop crap hands. Tell tubbies. More like crappy tubbies. Sit the science kid. More like sit the failure kid. No one wants to work with me. Ha 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 ha
This is Pizza Hut. May I take your order? Yeah. I would like a pepperoni pizza with a Pepsi, please. I am sorry we don't serve pizzas to SpongeBob SquarePants villains like you. God damn it. We will also cancel your order. Double god damn it. Now what I am I going to eat? I've run out of food. I'm gonna starve to death. Your pizza is served. Here's your pizza. And plus you get it for free. Man, I bored. I know, I call Dora and Peter watch Happy Tree Friends, ha 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 ha, we watch Happy Tree Friends series, Smoochies, Kringles and TV series. Hey, this is my computer, troublemakers, in call parents. Dora, how watch Happy Tree Friends with Troublemakers, that it, you grounded 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 for two, one, two, one, two, one years, we get home, you sleep forever. Oh, 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 I can't believe you've watched Happy Tree Friends with Troublemakers, T-H-A-T-I-T, you grounded for life, we get home, you force eat poop. Hello, Peter, how watch Happy Tree Friends with Blood and Troublemakers? You grounded, grounded, grounded for 3,223 years. We get home, you force watch baby shows. Oh, Vlad, how watch Happy Tree Friends with Stupid Troublemakers? That's it. You grounded for seventy four trillion three hundred sixty seven billion four hundred fifty seven million eight hundred forty seven thousand eight hundred sixty seven years. We get home, Papa beats you. Yate troublemakers, troublemakers is bad, 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 bad.